Hi guys, today I've got a tutorial to show you how to do this really effective and professional looking Roman font, well, Roman text design, which I think looks really good, really professional, and you can use it for many applications, including game covers, movie posters, website design, anything like that. So I'm just going to be showing you step by step how to design this style. Now it's all in Photoshop, there's no 3D or anything involved, it's all Photoshop based, and I'll be showing you from beginning to end. Now I've got some adjustments here at the side, I've got curves and gradient maps, so I'll be removing those and I'll show you at the end of the video how to add those just to add more of an effect to your text. So I'm just going to hide this empire layer and create a new text layer. I'll uh, type out Roman, I'm sure you understand the reference. Um, and then you want to go into your blending options. Now the blending options is the key thing for this, there's nothing else really involved. So let's start straight away. You want to add a drop shadow. You want the opacity to be on 75%. You want to change the distance to 18 and the size to 42. Then you want to add an inner shadow and you want to change the blend mode to darken. You want to change the opacity to 70%. You want to change the distance to 30 and the size to 39 and then you want to add an inner glow and you want to keep it on screen and you want to keep the opacity on 75% and in fact that's it, that's all you need to do and then you want to change, uh, you want to tick bevel and emboss so this is the most important bit, so keep the style on inner bevel change the technique to chisel hard Change the depth to 1000, depth, sorry, to 1000. Uh, make sure the direction is on up. Make the size a 122 and put the soften on one. And this already looks really nice. And then what you want to do down here is change your highlight mode opacity to 71%. And then underneath here, you want to change your shadow mode to hard light. And you want to change it from black to an orange. And that's basically it for that. And you also want to change that down to 70%. Then you want to go on color overlay and you want to add a white. And you want to change the blend mode to multiply. And then you want to add a satin as well. It just gives a little bit more um, texture. And then you want to add a pattern overlay. Now the pattern overlay I've got is uh, if you write, if you click on this little um, arrow here, you change to artistic surfaces. Click append when it asks, and you get them added here. Now I've got duplicates. I'll delete them. That's fine. And you want to just click on this grey one here, the one just before the last. And there's nothing you need to do with that. You can just keep that on your on 100%, and there's nothing else you really need to do. You can play around the scale if you want doesn't really make much of a difference, but you want it on about 67%. I'll change it to 70 just for the purpose of the video. And really, I mean, that's actually about it for the um, layer style. Now you'll see once you add the gradient map and the curves, you get this really nice text, which actually looks really effective and looks really fiery. And you can see this with some nice fire animation if you wanted to make it into an intro or anything like that. So let's just get rid of these two adjustments and I'll show you how to do them. And above your layers, you've got your adjustments. If you don't have them, just go to Window and make sure Adjustments is ticked. And what I'm going to add first is the curves. And what I tend to do is just bring up the brightness here from right in this intersection and just drag it up slightly. And then down here, where the intersection would have been at the bottom, I'm just going to drag down to make it a bit darker and bring out the shadows. So now I've brought out the highlights and the shadows. I'm just going to add a gradient overlay, or a gradient map. And um, it's this one here, which is from a black to a white. And obviously, you don't want it on normal, else it will just go black and white. And I'm just going to change it to, um, I can't remember what I use now, actually, in the, in the example. But basically, it's actually just more of a personal thing. It's what you prefer. I mean, that looks great, in my opinion. And obviously, you can just change it around and how you want it to be designed. I mean the adjustments on Photoshop are really just a personal preference thing, you know, you change it to what you like, if you don't like it you can just mix it up a little bit and experiment with the different layer styles. Um, 
I hope this tutorial has been useful. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice now suddenly. But um, I hope this tutorial has been useful. Uh, stay tuned for more. I've got some exciting stuff coming up in the future. A series which is going to be looking at photography and uh, doing some great little tutorials um, and tips about how to really make the best of your <coughs> camera and the best of Photoshop. I'm going to have to go now and uh, drown my throat because it's absolutely the most coarse thing I've ever felt. Um, I'm sorry about that. And I'll catch you guys later.